The iceberg project is a risk because you know, this is an idea that, that we have to build out because we couldn't just sell it from paper because people would think it's a bit mad. You know, they wouldn't understand it and they wouldn't be able to stand it and feel the texture or the warmth of it or see what's different about it. It's something I always wanted to do, so it had to be done. It's, there are things in your life that you have to do, you know, whether they're, they're right or wrong, and people just can't tell you, oh, that's a bad idea. You've got to do it yourself. Not only is it different because of the, the motivation behind it, but also in the team that he has been able to bring together and the level of experience that all those people have. In the compilation of the team, we're really having people who are good at different elements within it. And my job is part of the overall branding concept of the project and making sure the project works. Suzanne brings to it the strength of being able to produce this product and to add more layers to the concept. Where do we start designing? Usually it's, usually it's pretty simple because you're, for most designers I feel the gut reaction is right. We knew we wanted to have it as light as possible so we have the glass at the back. The, the more complicated part was the arrangements internally, where we were going to put the accommodation within it, how we were going to create internal light. The architecture is very contemporary, very sharp, and a lot, a lot of lovely features that you don't get in an ordinary home. Um, I love the way it's been finished. Absolutely fantastic, it really was brilliant because they totally, completely respected our um, creativity and we had a brief, um, fairly loose, but we were able to, um, I suppose, get on with it. Venetian Stucadors come up with this idea of using the material that they already had, more merino, but developing techniques to basically, so that it looked like marble. And it is basically marble, it is the same microstructure, it behaves in the same way as marble, but it's just a very, very, very thin layer. Instead of viewing this as like comparing it to paint, you have to realise that this is like this is a lifetime thing, this will last indefinitely. This finish, it's timeless. The belief has got to go right across the board, how you build it, how you design it, how you market it, everything. So I think that's been seamless in the way that it has been carried through. We've, we have to sort of go forward and create this for people to be able to look at and go, oh yeah, that's what we want. And for a lot of people who've come into this house, this is what they want. This is definitely it.